Hi Libra, here is a general look at your solar chart for August 2013 and I think this month your mind and your attention will be centred, uh, revolving around where you're going from here, whether that is with your plans, um, an ambition that's close to your heart, a goal that you want to achieve or something bigger like your, your general life direction. But Mercury's been in that area for quite some time, since, since the very end of May, um, make, putting you in the frame of mind where you find that goals and schemes uh, are, you know, either working out okay or in fact need tweaking because there's aspects of them which aren't working or in fact are being, being completely uh, rejected out of hand. And conversations, correspondence, um, and all sorts of connections could be centred around these goals, ambitions, your general direction. But this month Mars is there as well, um, even though Mercury is coming out of that area on the 9th, so your mind won't be so tied to the wheels going round about that. But Mars is there, and that means you want to be putting physical effort and your energy, really, uh, into... Um, anything career orientated or anything to do with uh, your image or reputation, um, you know, the impression you're making on others, uh, your standing with others, your status, you see. So all of these things will be more important for you at the moment and Mars there is going to help you, um, give you the energy and uh, uh, as long as his tendency to be feisty and hasty and controversial uh, and maybe a bit aggressive is just handled carefully. Um, you, you're very good at being diplomatic Libra so um, I'm not concerned with you about that. Um, but you may just get so frustrated and exasperated with the powers that be, officialdom, bureaucracy, red tape, whatever it is, uh, or maybe it's a, pe a parental figure, um, uh, a parent or, or, you know, somebody that is in that sort of position of authority in your life. And uh, they can be blocking or, uh, you know, uncooperative or whatever. Uh, but if you manage to keep your head and keep your cool and not be too hasty, you can make progress with the master plan. And, of course, with Saturn in this very sort of... Um, materialistic area of your chart uh, since October 2012 been there um, means that you've got these challenges now related to that material physical side of life and uh, you need to be uh, disciplined in your approach you need to be maybe you know go in for a little bit of austerity yourself and pull your belt in um, try very gradually to find ways to improve you know, the size of the piggy bank, um, uh, but also uh, looking at other quality lines of supply, which maybe you're changing, um, you know, maybe um, you've got to work harder to get those lines of supply in the way that you want them to be, whether it's cash, uh, bits of kit, equipment, remedies, or vegetables, you know, I mean, whatever the lines of supply, the whatever the resources are. And gradually this side of life will take shape with this long transit of Saturn there. But consistency is the key. Consistency is the key. Um, and you Libra is born the 27th of September to the 1st of August. Or, uh, sorry, I'm gabbling. The 27th of September to the 1st of October. Uh, or with uh, 4 to 8 degrees rising, you're going to feel this energy the most. Um, we've got Venus, your ruling planet, in a, in a background area until the 17th, meaning that you might be keeping things to yourself, um, your opinions to yourself, or your feelings about things more to yourself. You're more inclined, inclined to sort of tuck yourself away, and it, it's a very good time to be doing nurturing, healing things for yourself, or um, maybe this is for another that you're concerned about, so it can be working both ways, but more self-pampering um, is uh, advisable uh, at the moment and putting yourself in places, environments where you can feel nurtured and supported and held, um, but also you could be doing more on behalf of others at this time as well, 
um, even when you're not in the mood. Um, and uh, others can be oblivious to how much is going on inside of you. Uh, so your, 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 your urge to assist others will be amplified at this time, but also your urge to assist yourself um, and get the support, get the advice you need, whatever, you know, reach out, even though you won't be so in the mood to reach out at the moment, but if you need to, just reach out, because uh, your sign Libra is um, sort of having the book thrown at you, really, and um, so, you know, you need to work a little bit harder than usual at keeping that equilibrium. You are the sign of the balance, and you know better than any of the other signs when you are out of balance, out of sync, um, and that really bothers you. So you might have to kind of admit that and realize that that is really bothering you and um, do something about it, even though it's a very, very small little thing which is modest and, you know, cheap, easy, free, even probably, you know, connecting with nature would be a good one. Um, so, um, however it is for you, it's time to protect yourself a bit more and um, whenever possible do beautiful healing things um, and in good company as well because Venus always likes to have a good companion along. Um, and then from the 17th, things change there because Venus comes into your sign uh, for the rest of the month and then you, you get more of this sense of how to get this physical balance this emotional balance and uh, there could be uh, treats in the pipeline for you Libra um, you feel more like getting out there mixing mingling being sociable and you coming across as appealing and attractive to others in some way and sort of that little bit of sparkle of charm comes back you know that little twinkle in your eye and uh, you can um, that, that, yeah, you can do well in business, you can do well, well in, your, in your personal life with this transit here. Um, also, you might fe be feeling a bit self-indulgent, you know, as well. Um, but there couldn't be, you know, with this flow of uh, potential abundance from Venus, uh, treats, treats in the pipeline. But just make sure, you know, because Venus doesn't have an opinion about which way the energy is flowing, whether it's towards you or, or from you. So just make sure it's, you're steering it in the right direction and don't put your hand um, on your credit card, you know, sort of, no, don't put your hand on your credit card. So, and then um, uh, uh, we've got this um, lovely uh, grand trine in the sky uh, and in August it's going to, to be kind of kicked into action more by the T-square, this other alignment. But I just wanted to mention Mercury before I go on to that. Um, so Mercury moves from the position it's been in all the way back to the um, end of May, keeping your mind very much on, you know, goals, targets, my plans, my what I've got to achieve, uh, red tape maybe, officials, authority figures, that kind of thing, you know, the image, the reputation, how you're coming across. And the Mercury then goes into a very progressive area, takes the mental pressure off that other area, and then uh, you feel more like connecting with others, not what you know, but who you know, and feeling the support there, but interesting nuggets of information being exchanged between uh, you and others, and it's a great time to you know, keep your ear to the ground, but also make these connections with others and, 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 and unusual information or unconventional ideas could be um, revealing to you and get you thinking along a different track, um, you know, a very different track. Uh, but more involvement within a group, more involvement within a collective is altogether likely um, until the 24th. And then from the 24th, Mercury just um, goes into a more um, introspective, self-reflective um, area uh, uh, where you are connecting more with your emotions, um, feeling a little preoccupied uh, and not absolutely certain about this or that or the other thing. You know, it's a bit up in the air, you're a bit at sixes and sevens. You can't quite decide maybe on something which is the best way to go. Um, and Mercury whizzes through there quite quickly, comes out of there in um, early September. Um, and, well, we'll come out of there in around about the middle of September, actually. 
but just hold the vision, hold the vision of what, how you want it to be, what you want it to be, and do not let go of that vision and of the sensing and the feeling of that vision. And then you can move beyond what is now getting in the way of your happiness and well-being. Uh, so the Grand Trine that I mentioned last month is a lovely energy for us all. Um, in your uh, uh, solar chart, it um, uh, shows that you could be uh, working harder at materialising something which is of value to you, um, but, and you may feel pressured to prioritise, to bring something to fruition, um, <clears throat> but uh, new doors are now opening, uh, Libra, in your career sector, and you can think bigger. Um, <clears throat> about where you go from here with a plan, with a project, or where you go from here in life. So um, that's the Grand Trine in a nutshell, but the T-square is really going to energize this Grand Trine. It's uh, bolted onto the side <laughs> of the Grand Trine through Jupiter, and it creates a tension, it cre creates a conflict, which then moves the very lazy, chilled, energy of the Grand Trine, which is all together positive and supportive, it will start moving it and kind of getting it to sort of bringing it up to the boil as it were, um, this very positive energy. So um, it will dynamically activate the wondrous uh, uh, Grand Trine and be the catalyst and force the energy of the Grand Trine uh, to apply itself, to manifest into this, that or the other thing. The T-square is an activation um, alignment. I call it the working triangle because it works. Um, it's, it, it, it wants to take action. It wants to do. Uh, it doesn't just want to be like the Grand Trine does. Um, and uh, it'll be come this, 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 this wave of power then. And it'll be up to you how you use it and where you put your attention, whether you put your attention on the negatives and, um, you know, uh, what is uh, not right and what is uh, out of balance and, 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 you know, where to put the blame and so on. Or to put your attention on the positives, which is the superconductor of this positive energy of the grand trine. Um, so, um, yeah, up to you. It's always to do with our choices. But Jupiter is in this area, a good area for you, and uh, you Librans born um, 29th of September to the 8th of October, or with 7 to 15 degrees uh, Libra rising, will feel this energy the most this month. And um, that's it for August. If you know your rising sign or your moon sign, then uh, uh, find the forecast for those. And um, if you want to know what the outer slower moving planets are doing, I update that every month on my website. So have a look at that if you're interested and I will see you the next time.